Welcome back to Series 4K and this is Total War Pharaoh Dynasties. Let's click out of this, this, this intro cinematic. Um, I already started playing a little bit just to get a little bit familiar with the game before I start good and proper. Oh, I thought it was pretty good. I'm going to go and do a, I would say, we're not going to do a field play playthrough. Unless you guys like it, unless it, this video does well. Well, we're gonna probably play a couple of episodes, maybe. We'll see. But for now, let's let's just begin. I'm, I'm gonna take Sunday off because I, I was busy at the end of the week. This week, I wanted to play this game earlier in the week, but a lot of things came up, and I just was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just save it to the weekend. So this should be coming up either Saturday or Sunday, and it should be like the weekend video. Um, they're probably, I, I'm trying to see if I can do like one weekend video. Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see about all this in a few days. But until then, let's begin. Uh, I don't know what to play as, because I don't know what you guys want. Uh, you can play as a minor faction. Which I recommend you do for like a second or third playthrough. But a major faction, you should probably do that your first. There's the Aegean. This is part of the rule of Freud. Gian. Like, um, because the reason I say do a major factions first is because, well, you'll see in a minute when I, when I flip through with some of these guys. The major factions have a lot of things going on, on in. They got like a lot of bonuses and such. Like, I would recommend you pick an easy playthrough as well, just to get yourself adapted to it. But I want to do a little bit of normal playthrough because I like um, knives or knaves. I prevail over all. I'm gonna do this uh, because it's you're basically playing as the city of Babylon, and I find that an interesting sort of idea. Let's go with it. Battle general. Uh, do you want to go unlimited? I said go unlimited. Actually, no, we'll go for 60. We'll go for 40 minutes. Make it interesting. No, it's 60 minutes. 60 minutes is good. Uh, advice low. On AI. Can I form them like that or any kind or break them? Okay. Okay, they'll never end. Okay, replenishment. Um, default. It seems like this is like basic stuff. Like, I liked it though. I like this. You know, it's. Default with well, a very default uh, lethal chance of defaults. We can disable it or we can get it to 100%. Um, I say we leave it at default for now and see what happens. I think there's been a few problems with it. With default but with three regular seasons. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, okay, this seems like a lot of stuff in here. Call free one. Okay, custom innovation. Okay, I think we can begin. Because there's nothing in there that I didn't like or liked about the. Um, I wanted to dis disable. Okay, intro cinematic is the same for everybody, so we're just going to skip that. You can watch that yourselves if you get the game. 
Do I recommend it yet? I, I don't know. I have to play it a little bit before I can give a full-on recommendation for something. I don't like giving a recommendation of like five minutes of gameplay. That's that's not good enough time to be with the game. I would at least like to complete it once. But a game like this, you can't really complete it unless you take a long time. So I like to say like I give myself a certain amount of hours before I say it's done. Like I say I had to play a couple of factions and maybe like three or four of the factions to just get a general idea. They don't have to be a complete playthrough. It's just in the general idea of the different amounts of gameplay that's possible with this game before I can give any sort of recommendation with it. The city of Babylon, a gem coveted by all throughout its glorious history. Its leader, Adad Shuma Usur, a noble king determined to restore his kingdom to its former splendor, will face daunting obstacles on his way. Relentless Elamite raids press on the Babylonian borders, eyeing the kingdom and its riches with greed. They dream of their own empire. Should their attempt at conquest succeed, they would become a threat to all. Assyrian influence adds to Babylon's precarious situation. The rival empire has no intention of surrendering and seeks to regain its lost lands. Beyond Assyria, the Hittite empire also looks in Babylon's direction. Mighty Hittite kings have long desired the wealth and treasures of the city. They quietly prepare to launch a war campaign. Lastly, the Canaanite tribes south of Hatti are easily overlooked, but if they reach the Euphrates River, they may wreak havoc across the lands of Sumer and Akkad. The land will not be merciful to the aspiring Babylonian king. He must be cunning in both diplomacy and battle, placating and conquering his numerous foes as the situation best dictates. Okay, so I decided to be quiet while that played so I can get, let you guys have an idea of what's going on. And two, I kind of just wanted to chill for a minute. Just let the thing play out. So, faction buildings. Get some gold. Mm-hmm. Faction units. Babel nobles. Mm-hmm. Commands. Court. New dock. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, for forget titles. Okay. Okay. Building provides garrison. What kind of garrison does it provide? I will keep the temple offerings flowing. Okay, it gets three people. Okay. Alright, um. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of unique things you can do with this army stuff. Wow, this looks like a pretty detailed ability list here. Uh, I think I'll leave that alone. This is pending actions. Royal Decree available. Uh, oh yeah, this is basically the research system. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can... This is locked because we need to unlock it by actually doing it. Uh, this will give happiness. This will give XP. start with basic happiness everywhere yeah and then we'll hit that one because we can get happiness and other things with that one um 
They call me King of Babylon, and that is who I am. Okay, outpost commandment available. Yes, right, we forgot about the commandment. Commandments. What are we gonna do with your commandment? I, I wanna do it like this before we do anything else. Uh, do, 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 do. The gods bless our land. There's no influence. Okay. Oh. There's happiness here, but we can get the happiness growing a little bit more. Let's, um, let's focus on recruitment. Let's focus on happiness. Not surprising. It'll screw us up on recruitment, but I think it's better we get people to get happier. Uh, what is this? Mud baths. Yeah, sure. Upgrade that. Mm-hmm. We need four work for us, okay. The land holds much beauty. Mm-hmm. There's like a lot of things we should be doing here, but I feel like we should focus on what is this? Production. Trade records. Okay, there's a lot of things we should be doing. Mm-hmm. Harvests are plentiful. People are happy. Okay, we got that. I'm trying to think of what to get this thing. Cause what we got? What are we making over here? What are we, what are we making? It looks like it's a food settlement. So food is like the main resource we're getting. From here. Okay. Um. So I say we. Yeah, we're getting a lot of food here. So I say we focus in on getting this. Of all resources. Yeah, let's just focus on making this a very productive outpost. Where we just produce a lot of stuff. I think we leave it for now. Um, and I think we leave that for a while now as well. And we just go for this Rightful guy. ruler of Karduniash. We go for this guy. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna win this easily, handily, handily, gang. Uh, we can do it all resolve, but I say we fight the battle. I say fight the battles uh, when in the early game as much as you can. And here's the reason why you want to fight the battles in the early game. Um, you don't know the units that well, and you don't know how the difficulty settings. You don't know. All the various other things that go into this game. So it's a good idea to just fight the early battles, get a handle on things, get a handle on movement, get a handle on. Um, uh, not fight the battle? Yeah, let's just spoil now. We could wait and get a better uh, situation by waiting, but uh, we can also get a worse situation. And we had a pretty good situation. There was no like negative effects or positive effects.
What are you? Spear and shield. Okay. Spearman. Okay, spear. Spearman like this. Skirmish mode. Uh, uh, arcing shot. We can just have a mix shot. Um, Okay, uh, you know what? Arcing shot. Arcing shot. No hesitation. Arcing shot. your arrows. Mm-hmm. Oh, this damage morale if we did the whistling shot. Uh, I'll say we save that for later, but for now. Chariots into place! Your generals have their own unique skills and advantages. Pay close attention to them, and be ready to unleash their abilities on the enemy at an opportune time. Usher will not mourn these fools! Drive us onwards! I think I left it on, uh, give me messaging here. We are here. I think I'll leave it on for a few turns, but I'm gonna shut that off eventually. It's just so I get uh, adapted to this gameplay style. Which is a little bit different from Warhammer. And I've been playing uh, a lot of Warhammer, uh, I would say recently. Alright. No, 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 don't do that. Shoot, just shoot. Just shoot. Okay, pause it. Pause it. Go for that. Uh, uh, two handed axeman. I don't feel safe with that. Do you catch my drift? Okay, I don't feel safe with that. Direct shot. Go for them. Go for them. Go for them. Give me go. Go for them. Go. Go for them. Direct shot and whistling shot. Trying, trying to uh, let's hit, let's, no, no, let's hit weak people. A lot of these are sword and board guys. Okay, hit him with that. Wheels turning. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Slingers, attack! Save the rubble! Time to move! <laughs> Clyde See enough. the enemy break like reeds before. Shut up. <laughs> like, you did! Like they're breaking! Like yeah, yeah, shut up! Shut up, shut up. <laughs> The gods guide us! Oh. Go Send for them stones! Crash them. Fight with pride! Rolling them down. Ever enduring. Lunge at them. Swing at them. Very damning. Down. Archers, fire. Their force carries us around. Are they? They're they're done. They're done. Roll onwards. Marduk has abandoned us. Play 
blades! Strike them down! Slinger! Attack! It's a close in action for you guys. Good job, guys. We can do it. Uh, sounds good. Normally, I'm like, let's play to see some more of that, but uh, I need to focus. You really need to focus in this situation. Uh, do we want to charge in with the chairs? Do you cause collateral damage? I don't think so. No, you don't. Okay, good. Drivers on the Alright, Crack open their skulls! Alright, good. What's that? What's that symbol mean? I know that symbol means they're running away. Oh, I didn't pause it. This always let you. Okay. Uh, we, we lost some dudes in that, but that's fine. I expect some defeats in battle early on. Because we're still trying to get you... I'm still trying to get used to the units and stuff like that, so... Swing at them! Do as much damage as you possibly can to them. The point of this is to wear the numbers down so substantially that they will not be able to retreat to the next. Yeah, that's if they have survivors. I don't think they will have survivors. Alright, decisive victory. Lost nearly 200 people. Got 600 remaining. They only have 74, man. They lost 600. Uh, I'm glad I said to normal difficulty. I was thinking about maybe I should put it on hard. Like that's not. Let's not play around. <laughs> it's on camera. This is, you ever played this in like like only a little bit? You really haven't played this at all because you haven't beat it. You haven't even played it for more than an hour. Like I was looking at my Steam thing, it's like, wow, I haven't played this game in more than an hour. Normal difficulty it is. <laughs> A flawless martial performance. No food. Uh, kill them now. And this army, uh, unit replenishment. I said we get unit replenishment. You will pay with your freedom. Always look at the big picture. Oh, this is the enemy faction. Right. Um. These are victory objectives. We get Babylon, we get er, okay. We gotta get this and that. We gotta get that one. Then we gotta get that one. Okay, so we gotta get like, a huge swath of territory. That makes sense. Okay, attacking that will be damaging to us. But I feel like we could do it if we needed to. Um so victory judgment, sorry. Let's look at our diplomacy. Alright, how many enemies do we have? 
we have currently the Gin, the Quinji, Quinju. We're at war with them. Hmm. And battle agreement. Okay, we got a nice little agreement going on. We have nothing too terrible going. They call me King of Babylon, and that is who Let's I am. Let's go take this army out. Okay, so unlike last time where I just jumped in, let's look at the units we got, we're going up against. Uh, poor charge, poor charge. They're basically arrow. Those just arrow people. Uh, Two-handed axemen. Okay, these are light and expendable. Uh, expendable. That means witnessing friendly units. Friendly units. Okay, okay. So nobody cares if they die or get run away. Moves are quickly okay, so there's fast moving units. Okay, that's good. Like, I really should have checked up on and read that uh, the first time we did that. But I think it's good I uh, learned that the hard way than I learned it the easy way. That way I will stick. Oh, yeah, and we got level up points. We can put some points in. We'll do that after the battle. The bizzaddle. Uh, deploy. Deploy, deploy, deploy. The now, I'm probably not going to. Spearman. Take so many risks in this next engagement. Mostly because I feel like I. Patience in battle. There we go. Chariot. In terrain such as this, every natural feature may conceal enemy forces. Beware of unseen foes. Time to move! Ah, we won't miss! Room for success! Honor the cause! Move in order! Fall onward! Okay, visibility is screwed. Thousands of arrows! I do like this fact that they had uh, we had visibility issues. Alright. The point of that is to get one of the step by step. Fear me. On we go. Shoot now. Spearmen! Strike them down! Fear me! We march! No hesitation! Go for it. Um... Okay, we can switch it over to... Direct shot, um, direct shot, fire into them, go into that, okay, go into them, Shot. Rend their flesh. Nothing can stop us. Tremble before us. Put their eyes out. Towards that place. A clash of fury and will. Uh, uh, uh. Victory beckons. Tear through them. Not the flame! Chariot! 
Go for it. Steady, Debbie. Go. Your troops have grown weary from exertion. You must let them. Sure. <laughs> Strike them down. Blade. Is that your best, or simply a warm-up? My mother has better comebacks. My spear keens for blood. Over there, move. Keep close to me! Alright. We did it. So the question is, do we attack that main place? Because there's going to be an army there. A pretty nasty army. in our shared triumph, men. Our canals need more workers. Always look at the big picture. They call me King of Babylon, and that is who I am. I see capable warriors only. We are farmers. Gather the troops. I am thinking. You shall not influence me. There can be no compromises. Okay, so we can give him a... Okay. Oh, all right. I see it. So you gotta get these certain like level up abilities, 
and you can get these skill sets if you get them oh that's so, such a cool thing so you can hit these up here to gain level through that when you get skill points uh, and this is the different skill this is present so when we're present for others take care of others for a door uh, willingness to act is more important uh, yeah, if I would finish this off and give a good e upkeep. Uh, yeah, that, this is a good, it's a good system here. All right, we're at spring. Attrition plus ten deep sea. Okay. So if we hit the end turn. This is summer. I am a Kazakh. The world lives on. It's a nice place to go and attack. Oh, okay. Ruling family. Let's look at that. A wife and a son that's coming up. Oh, wait. There's no sign. Oh, okay. There's a sign in the order to make them. You see all these nice abilities. Uh, I think we'll catch that next time. I think I'll just I mess around with this a little bit. Offering. Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. If you can hit the like button, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, so if you hit the subscribe button, that would be really appreciated. It will help me along to that goal quite heftily. And I thank you so much for your time. Good day to you.